are still thousands of Oregonians waiting for unemployment benefits, so we will continue to ask the Employment Department questions until every issue is resolved. Our Lindsay Nadrich getting answers tonight about what they are doing to try and get benefits to people who are still waiting. They've been waiting for months now, Lindsay. Yeah, and it's getting extremely frustrating because businesses are starting to reopen, but there are still roughly 70,000 unprocessed pandemic unemployment assistance or PUA claims. And you might remember that program is for people who don't qualify for regular benefits and are self employed. Acting Director David Gerstenfeld again talked about how the PUA program is the most complex and has been the biggest challenge to implement. And that's why they launched a new initiative called Focus PUA to devote more resources to processing PUA. UA claims faster. Their goal is to process 5,000 claims this week, 7,500 next week, and even more the following week. They hope to process all remaining 70,000 PUA claims by August 8th. This is an aggressive goal, but we know how much people are relying on us to get them their benefits, so we're putting a huge effort into getting the most benefits to the most Oregonians in the quickest way as possible. Each person's weekly PUA claim has to be worked on by an employee for benefits to be paid. So if you're wondering what's taking so long or why you may have received a check one week and then payments suddenly stopped, it's because they can't keep up with all of the weekly claims. If you upload your weekly claim, you do not need to call, but they said it may take a couple of weeks to process and until they get all caught up. They're currently working with Google to create a new web-based application by the first half of July to help fix this issue. They also now have more than 200 people working to process PUA claims and plan to add more. Earlier this week, I was also asked about gross earnings for people who are self-employed. Here in Oregon, they say people can't deduct their expenses, but other states are handling it differently. I asked Gerstenfeld about this today, and he said he's aware states are doing different things, and so they're actively pursuing this issue with the U.S. Department of Labor to figure out which way is correct. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterch, Coin 6 News.